So predicting the products of chemical reactions, of decomposition reactions, can be a little challenging because there's a lot of different patterns you need to know. In this video, we're going to focus on the metal oxides, like sodium oxide or magnesium oxide, and we're going to use this pattern right here. If you need help with other types of decomposition reactions or just predicting products of chemical reactions in general, go to my YouTube channel page. And then if you scroll down, you'll find courses here. And there's a course on predicting the products of chemical reactions and includes those decomposition reactions as well. But you're interested in metal oxides, how they decompose. Let's look at that now. So with metal oxides, we have a metal and then we have oxygen. Like sodium, that's our metal, and then we have oxygen. So that's a metal oxide, sodium oxide. When this decomposes, we'll get the metal, that's just the sodium, and you can have sodium all by itself, that's fine. And then we'll get oxygen gas, O2. And really, that's it. That's the decomposition of sodium oxide. In this video, I won't balance the equations or write the states. We don't really need that to predict the products. So pause, use the pattern here in this example, and predict the products for the decomposition of potassium oxide. So potassium, that's our metal. Then we have the oxygen here. So we'll end up with just the metal, just the elemental potassium plus, you got it, O2. Okay, let's try another one. Predict the products when Fe2O3, this is iron three oxide, decomposes. So we have a metal oxide because we have Fe and we have O. Then we have our metal, that'll be the Fe and then we'll get oxygen. And again, it's not balanced and we didn't write the states, but we don't need to do that when we're predicting the reactions here. That's really it for the decomposition of metal oxides. Now that you're done here, head over to my channel page and check out my course on predicting the products of chemical reactions. You'll get all of the decomposition reactions and other types of reactions like combination, single replacement, all of that. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.